What's up, YouTube? Welcome to All Three Garage, and thank you for joining me today. We will be covering another Porsche 944. This is mine, it's stock, but I have seen this on the Facebook market. It got a Buick supercharged V6 3.8 in a Porsche 944. Now, I thought this swap was pretty cool, and the guy was asking between two to four K. Now, he really didn't know what was the price range to sell it for. Folks felt like he lowballed himself. Y'all let me know the price range y'all would have sold it for, and I'm gonna let y'all know my price range. Now, he did say the engine had a little knock, and he had another engine that had 60k miles in, and you could have just thrown it in, and everything else was done. But having it in a Porsche with nice weight distribution, nice cornering, and just a little juice, man, I know it's a great feeling, especially out of a very reliable V6, just like an LS. Man, you can't go wrong with it. But anyway, we're going to get into it. And if you haven't joined the garage, I hope you consider joining the garage. And now let's get into it. And let's not say these Regals not badass because they are. They are pretty cool, especially the Grand National and the four-door. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So this is the 944 right here with the Buick Supercharged V6. Man, this thing is looking immaculate. I don't even know the color of this car. Is it like red, liquid red or lava red? I don't even know the color. Is it a burgundy? Like, man, this car looking sick. I know he did mention that it had like a little rust on the underside, but I don't think that would stop anybody with a cool, uh, interesting, rare swap because, man, we always get, you know, the LSs. Man, look at the interior. It's looking pretty clean. Look at the get new gauge cluster. I wonder how they did all of this. Like, I'm going to do research and see if they have any, you know, uh, videos or anything. Or I might even, hey, ask the guy. Hey, Emma, I seen this on the Facebook. Uh, look at the rear, man. Something about these Porsches. The rear is looking so immaculate. I love the back glass. It's just so cool. The lights, the bumpers, everything. This is another view of the interior looking very immaculate. Looking 10 times better than mine because, of course, mine is a part. Uh, y'all let me know what, what y'all rate this, you know, 1 through 10. I rate it like a 9. Uh, this is another side view of this gorgeous beauty right here. Um, And, man, let's get into the description. Sold for sale 85 944 Buick Supercharged V6. Anyone interested in this swap 944 I bought about six months ago, but don't really have the time for it. It's had an engine swap to a 2000 Buick V6 Supercharged 3.8. The engine has it not, but I have a replacement engine for it with 60k miles ready to go. And all works has been done, just need a swap. The engine's out, some rust at the bottom of the fenders and surface rust here and there underneath in pretty good shape overall it has poor sports seats from the 911 which is worth quite a bit i say around 2k and just need the space asking 4000 all right he asked in 4000 all right guys so this is the engine that had a knock in it but the engine bay looking pretty damn clean and i bet it's more spacious and more to work on like i said this engine right here is just reliable and with that e10 190 on there man it, i i could bet it sound incredible and it can you know pull that little uh 944 um yeah y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below now this is the replacement with 60k on there which i think is badass pretty cool and the thing about this, like, you can drive this probably for miles and miles and stuff. You don't got to worry about no timing belts or any other thing. Like, you got a GM reliable motor right here. Um, so, I wonder, like, how much this swap would be and what would be, like, all the uh, corners and stuff you would have to go around just to make this perfect. Uh, I think I would have sold this car around between 67 to 10 k at most, honestly. Um, do y'all think the, the guy low ball himself uh, and tell me how much are y'all sell it for or would y'all have sold it? Uh, like you say, he don't have the time for it. So, I mean, you know, sometimes you don't have nothing, you know, to do with what you have. I mean, sometimes it's best to give it up depending on how you are and all. But y'all let me know how much I would sold this car uh, for. Um, he already sold it. 
Um, I know he sold it. Well, I know it was sold on Facebook market. A lot of people was like, dang, I would have bought it and all that. Like I said, this was a pretty cool swap. I had to cover it. And especially coming from a Regal. And you already know you got the, you know, the Grand National. And just based off of that platform, the Grand Prince and all that. It's just pretty cool. Um, I don't know too much about, you know, uh, the Regals and all. But I know there was a pretty badass cars with, you know, the Supercharger and all that. And pretty fun. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to be doing some research after this. So stay tuned for another video of me covering other cars and my cars, uh, hopefully sometime. And I will see y'all. Be safe out here. And uh, like I said, drop a comment down below and join the garage if you haven't joined the garage. And if you stay through all my goddamn talking, I appreciate you and thank you so much. See you.